Today's challenge, a spoilt Frenchie. Will you use your fader by hand? With an obsessive dislike of fellow four-legged friends on the TV. She goes absolutely yeah, been nearly goes through the screen. We just want Victoria to come in and give us her life back. In suburban Essex, Bob and Tracy lived a charmed and child-free life until they rescued French bulldog Molly. For the past 18 months, they've spoiled their fur baby rotten. Good girl. Good girl. Now it's this Frenchie that's living the charmed life. The pampered pooch definitely rules the roost. Molly dictates what we watch on Dictating the Dictating what we have to watch, yeah. Yeah, she does. All because of her hatred for other dogs. <laughs> But with no knowledge of her past, they don't know why. She goes absolutely yeah, been nearly goes through the screen. And that's not the only thing she can kick up a stink about. Molly does pass wind quite a lot. <laughs> pass <long>. wind. <laughs> oh my god, that's right. Molly, that stinks. Oh, you're definitely not a lady, Mal. When it comes to dinner time, dog food's not on Molly's menu. This spoilt madam has acquired a taste of the finer cuisines of home-cooked beef and salmon every day. She's a very fussy eater. She'll only eat the best of stuff. Here's your beef, look. Oh, yeah, so there we go. Prefer that, don't you, Mal? We put on um, tin food. Which she didn't like. She also demands being hand-fed rather than eating out of a common dog bowl. It's a hassle every single day. That's spoiled for you, isn't yeah, it? You're spoiled, aren't you, Mum? Being weighted on hand and foot definitely applies to this little lady. While she'll stretch to go upstairs, our doggy diva won't come down unless she's carried. She just makes grunty noise, to, grunting noise to, um, so we can come and get her. There we go. Okay, well. We just want Victoria to come in and give us her life back. I'm really looking forward to meeting Molly. French Bulldogs are very smart and loving dogs, and they love spending time with their families, which isn't surprising because they were bred to be companion dogs. But it seems like this little Frenchie has got her owners very well trained. Time to meet this two-year-old madam. Hello, 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 you. Who's that, Mum? Are you and I going to be friends? Because we got to do some things together. <laughs> well, I don't think that that's the greatest thing to do. Yes. I smell a pong right now. <laughs> well, it's a nice way to say hello. Does she have a lot of um, gas? Yeah, a lot. She does. A hell of a lot. It's quite noxious. You're you're very small, but you have a pretty big pong, don't be, you? Yes. And to be fair, that's quite mild. <laughs> Is it? Yes. Oh. It gets worse. <laughs> I'm I'm there with hair air fresheners and sprays and candles and. Now what's going on in that stomach of yours? What are they feeding you, eh? This pongy problem is the first to be investigated, as Tracy shows off the selected cuts of beef Molly is accustomed to. How long do you spend cooking Molly's meal every day? An hour each day. An hour? Twice. Twice a day, OK. How did you start doing this? Um, she was having trouble eating. I'm not sure if it was to do with uh, an allergy or something. And to treat her, we started cooking. And now she's, she's got used to it. She doesn't seem to want to go back onto the dog food. Well, I wouldn't of want course, to go back on the yeah. dog food if I was cooked this every night. We just put it on a plate. Because we usually feed it by hand. Oh. And <laughs> um, what do you eat? Um, well, sometimes we just have, like, pie and chips or... Or a pizza. A pizza or... And Molly will still have her salmon and, and beef. If the gas is anything to go by, this she eats every day? Yeah, yeah, at the moment she is. This is potentially the culprit. French Bulldogs are known for their friendly temperament, making them a very popular breed. They have irresistible faces, but because they're bred with such short noses, they can have some difficulty breathing, making them quite noisy dogs to live with. Frenchies are clever, compact canines with muscular shoulders and chests, but short legs, usually standing at a grand height of around 35 centimetres. 
small dogs often don't like stairs, and they're next for Victoria to check out. She goes up the stairs OK. That's not a problem. This is what happens when we come down the stairs. Yeah, she won't come down. As she turns her head away, she's saying, no, can't do it. And we have to carry her down, which can be uh, a bit dangerous on, on steep stairs like that. Yes, it is, cos they are very steep. Yeah. Has she ever had an accident? Has she ever fallen downstairs at all? As far as we know, and she's never fallen down the stairs, not while we've had her, no. She's OK on a step. If it's literally just one or two one a or step, two. she's fine. It's a staircase. OK. Time to see the more extreme behaviour from Molly, and all Bob and Tracy have to do is switch on the TV and show a dog. Ooh. Come out. Oh, look, her hackles are going Yeah, she yeah. does. Oh, look at that. Doesn't like it at all. It's like she's transfixed. Yeah, she yes. does. She it's like focused. she's completely yes. focused. That yeah. is the most bizarre thing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, she is in a zone. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. nothing is going to put her out of that. Yeah. Why do you think she does this? We haven't got anything haven't got on any... her. We've got no. no history on her or But it's, anything. it's been, you know, right from the start since we've had her, so it could possibly have been something that's happened in the past. Mm. Research shows that despite dogs' memories not working like a human's, dogs are able to recall previous owners and traumatic experiences. But without knowing Molly's past, there's no way to pinpoint the cause of her behaviour. However, Victoria can help them with the future. Molly is loved. She's adored. She's maybe a little spoiled. Yeah, I'm afraid so. I think that maybe she's babied a little too much. OK. That she doesn't get as many opportunities day to day to do dog things in dog ways. Right. We have to change the picture for her. We Not don't time. really have a life at the moment with Molly, unfortunately. Well, it's time preparing the food, cooking the food. Bring her up and down the stairs. I'm going to guide you in the right direction so that you can help Molly. So then, are you ready? Yes. Today. Okay, guys, you sit on the stairs okay. and watch what I'm doing. All right. Come on then, Molly. First, Victoria wants to tackle Molly's most worrying and extreme behaviour. In real life, Molly is reactive and uncomfortable with other dogs. Now sit, Molly. Sit. Be good. And Victoria thinks she feels the same way when she sees dogs on TV, who are effectively in her lounge. What shall we do with you, hey? I'm going to have a moving picture of the dog, but without the sound. And what I'm trying to do is engage the brain. Right, OK. Because when she sees dogs on television, all of her focus is going on there, yeah. right? And her brain gets into crazy brain. So the secret to this is to get her before she goes. And if we get her before she does it, we can start teaching her that better things happen to her when she actually sees, even for a moment, an animal on the screen. Right, yeah. So I'm giving her something else to do. And what I do, I put a little bit of food in here. Turn the television on. Good girl. I'm going to wait for her to look at it. Then I'm going to watch her body language. If I see that tension suddenly come, I'm going to turn it off. Good girl. That's good. Yeah. So she saw it. I want to teach her to look and look back. I engage, I disengage. And when I disengage, actually something better happens to me. I get this. Right. right OK. Right? Yeah. Watch closely, cos you're going to do this in a minute. Right, OK. I'm going to take it up again, turn the television on. I want her to look at it. And just as Molly turns away, she refocuses on the licky mat. This is a good result. I'm completely gobsmacked. I think we can go up a level, and I think we can have moving pictures with a little bit of sound. I never thought that Victoria would have put the telly on and Molly wouldn't jump paid up. Paid attention, yeah, it's great. She paid no attention yeah. whatsoever. I'm so proud of her. It's time for something even more engaging. A snuffle mat. A colourful, fluffy mat with food hidden in it. I'm turning the volume up. 
We've got dogs barking, dogs running. Too much now, I'm going to turn it off. I don't want to go too far. I had it on the screen for, what, 15 seconds? A little bit of sound. Gradually, I'll increase the sound. The secret of this training is not to go too fast. Give her activities like this yeah. as you gradually build up a new behaviour where animals can be on the TV and good things happen to her. I'm really apprehensive about it, whether it's gonna, it's gonna work for me as it did for Victoria. So now she's actually facing television, which is good. Yeah. So we'll turn it on. I'll make sure the sound is down. Molly's clocked the dogs. Will they set her off? Turn it off. No, too late. Yeah, darn it. That's OK, don't worry. Now we sort of go back to as soon as she looks up at there, I turn it off now. Good. So you see what I mean? When you've had that little bit of a setback, you go back to where it's really easy for her. Yeah. She looks up, turns off. Right, okay. okay. You provide a relief instantly. Now, what I want you to do is just take the mat up for a little bit. Let's just see what she does. Okay. Ready? Just wanted to look at the television. Off. Good. Put the mat back. Let her figure it out. Like, get a little bit more salmon to put into the snuffle mat. Good. And the telly on. Turn the volume up a tiny bit. Okay, she's going to look in a minute. She's now facing the television. I turn it off now. Good. Tracy got the timing spot on. That was good. It's baby steps, it truly is, because her habit is so intense. Got to watch her body language, and I could feel she was ready to jump. And you just have to keep your hand on the button, as you said. Yeah. Here we've been engaging her brain, and actually, she chose to do it. She knew there were dogs up there. Yeah, she, she could did. see. Yeah. But she chose to do this. Lovely. Really pleased with that. It's definitely given me hope that she, that she will change. And if we work hard enough, she yeah, will sure. change. Yeah, sure. She will yeah. change, won't yeah. she? Like humans, dogs can see images much clearer on high definition TVs. And they're smart enough to recognise other animals on screen too. The bigger the TV, the better for this. They also have amazing hearing and sometimes can't tell the difference between a televised noise and a real one. That's why a lot of dogs bark when they hear a dog on the telly. Next up, Stairgate. And Victoria doesn't think this is diva behaviour. I'm looking at the stairs from Molly's point of view. Yeah. Think about the weight in the front of, of her. She's a French bulldog, so all of her weight is in the front. The front yeah. And I think when she comes to the top of these stairs, the reason why she cannot come down is because she feels really unbalanced and unsafe. Yeah. Have you ever looked at the stairs from this low down? No, never. I want you to do that now. Hello, sweetheart. Molly's like, what is happening? What does that feel like? It feels very narrow and very steep. There is a risk that she could put a step wrong and fall. So maybe putting a baby gate up here so that she can't get up. Yeah. In order to be safer for you, you're going to carry her in one arm and you're going to have the other arm on the banister. Oh, that's so much safer. The stairs are going to be a lot less scary place for all of you. The most potent problem is last to be tackled. Molly's rich diet has been having a pongy effect. But Victoria has a plan to help this. I think she's hungry. So I'm just going to put easy for now. I've come outside without Tracy because I want to test a theory of mine. I've mixed some of Molly's salmon and beef with some salmon-based dog food. And if my theory is correct, she's going to eat the dog food. So right now I'm just getting her interested in eating the dog food. A simple idea of mixing dog food with a bit of Molly's meat has worked. I feel like the reason why she doesn't want to eat from a bowl 
is because when she puts her head down, it actually interferes with her breathing, so it's really quite uncomfortable for her. So if I can put the bowl almost kind of at nose height or just below, so she just has to reach down and not put her head completely down, I think she's going to eat from a bowl. There you go. Eureka! Molly is eating dog food from a bowl. Victoria's spot on with the theory. Time to show Tracy. This isn't a food bowl. This is something that I found in the hamster section. It's the only thing that I could find that she can put her head in a little down, but not fully. Eating and breathing at the same time. It's just uncomfortable. Yeah, it was getting so, difficult for yeah. her. When a dog has had such a long habit of eating, Delicious food, right? Yes. Then transitioning to dog food might be touch and go. Yeah. This is really high quality, good food, dog food. It is out of a packet, though. All right. Okay. Right? So I mix the dog's old food with a little bit of the new food because as I'm transitioning, I don't want to put them right onto the new food. It's not going to be good for their tummies. No. See, I've, never, I mean? I've never thought of doing that, yeah. giving her dog food and then mixing <laughs> our food with it. Over time, Tracy will wean Molly off the cooked food completely. Molly, come here, Charlie. Victoria uses a social learning technique to encourage Molly to eat food from the bowl. And Molly imitates Victoria's behaviour beautifully. Oh, my God. Oh, that's really amazing, that is. I've not, I've not seen Molly eat dog food for a long, long time. Dog food is definitely going to help. That's one happy and more engaged Frenchie who's now allowed to do more doggy things. Victoria's work here is done, so it's time for Bob and Tracy to start working on the new routine. Over the next couple of weeks, Tracy spends lots of time putting Victoria's tips into practice. With lots of TV training, new rules around the stairs... They'll have to do your dinner soon, won't we, darling? Yeah. And more dog food being added to each meal. Good girl. A few weeks later, and Victoria is returning. I cannot wait to see how they're getting on. Tell me about the food. We've now transitioning her on kibble. Mm. She's doing really well on that, okay. so that's a positive. She is eating out of the bowl. Yes, she's definitely eating out the bowl, so that's really good. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. Um, well done, Molly. And it's nice not to have to feed her by hand. <laughs> <laughs> what about the stairs? Yeah, the stair gate's all up. And coming down the stairs with her in one arm and Yeah, I hold on on the banister okay, and good. then she's under my arm and that's fine, so okay. it's worked. Can I see how she is with the television? Yes, definitely. All right. Has the training practice paid off? <laughs> yes, it has. Not even a flinch from Miss Frenchie whatsoever. That was on for what? A minute? Yeah, easy. Easy. When compared to what I don't know, like a second. <laughs> and she's been doing that for a good few days now. It will get to the point where you do this often enough, mm -hmm. and she's going to be so used to seeing dogs on television yeah. that it's just not going to bother her anymore. Yeah, yeah. And that's where you're going to get to. I have absolute faith. We play small, don't we? We're very Both pleased. of you get an A, A plus. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> When I first arrived, Molly was taking over Tracy and Bob's life, but now the training is working so well, I think they're well on their way to becoming a more harmonious household. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.